we're going to discuss the discuss both sides question in IELTS test 2. This has two to three bodies. Now, most people use two bodies because most samples you see online are using two bodies. And that's why you should not do two bodies. You should use three. You should do something unique because unique essays, structures, vocab gives people more marks. So how we could do this is by looking at a little template that we have here. Now, if you want access to this PDF, make sure you take this whole course. If you're already taking this course, you have access to this PDF. It has templates um, and samples, sample answers, which use those templates for all types of questions, the direct questions, the advantage, disadvantage, um, causes, effects, discuss both sites, and in this course we'll cover each and every one of them. So this video will break into two parts for discuss both sites. Let's talk about the template. The templates are words and phrases. You can copy paste every time, get a great score. These are fancy words. They give you good marks for vocab and phrases, give you a range of sentences and expressions. They give you um, words and phrases that are mistake proof and things you can simply memorize instead of coming up with them yourselves. Okay, let's see this question. Discuss both sides. <clears throat> Some people think that technology, uh, is incre technology is increasing the gap between the rich and the poor, whereas others feel it is creating the opposite effect. Discuss both views and give your opinion. Okay, so do you support technology or not? I mean, is it increasing the gap between rich and poor? We start with the discussion off, okay? Sorry, it's highlighting the other thing. The discussion off, and then you talk about the topic, the discussion of technology is surely one that begs the question of exactly. So that means is surely one that makes you think about the question of. And then you talk about the other part of the topic is surely one that begs the question of exactly if the gap between the rich and the poor is being increased because of technology. All right. Very fancy first sentence, very unique, complex vocab, great first impression. The examiner already wants to give you a nine, and that's what we want. Now, in my opinion, comma, due to, this is important, like people just say, in my opinion, I support this, you need to be specific. So say, in my opinion, due to, give the reasons, maybe due to the economy, re economical reasons, or due to the uh, social reasons, whatever you're explaining later. Uh, supporting tech growth will be the most apropos choice. So whatever your opinion is, supporting whatever will be the most apropos choice, meaning it'll be the most accurate choice. All right. Uh, there's an example here, guys. Yeah, I don't need to read it. You can pause the video and see how the template has been used if you're interested. But the first two sentences right away create a great impression and get to the point and right away builds very good rapport with the examiner. Before we look in the body paragraphs, let's look in the conclusion because it's very similar to the intro. You start with to conclude, both sides present strong arguments, copy paste it, simple, just copy paste it. However, and now you're going to state your opinion, it says rephrase your opinion here. So now whatever you said in the intro, say it in different words. So maybe in the intro I said I, I support tech, right? So I'm going to say, however, the cons of uh, tech in terms of separating different classes of income are way lesser compared to the pros. Uh, then there's always a suggestion at the end uh, of this type of question with the discuss both sides. There's a formula. Basically, when you do three body paragraphs, you should finish off with a suggestion for the last sentence. And this could be someone should do something to achieve something. That's basically what how you would say should here. So the government should find better ways to promote technology in a way that it is socially achieve so in a way that it achieves social socially responsible means. Okay? A suggestion based on your topic. And that is basically rephrasing your opinion and giving a suggestion, two sentences to finish off your conclusion. All right? Okay, um, very good words again. Uh, you don't have to think of them, just copy paste. Simple. Now you go to body one, which is going to be your paragraph two right below the intro. You start by saying not firstly, secondly, not basic words. You're going to say one clear fact is that. Now you mention your first point. If you have an example, say take for instance, instead of just saying for example, you say take for instance. Now if you feel like you want to explain it more, you say to illustrate further. You don't have to say it, but if you have more to add to illustrate further, your concluding sentence is going to be hence. Okay, that's how you conclude the whole paragraph. 
And now in the next body, nevertheless, remember the question has discussed both sides. So now we're going on the other side. We say nevertheless, which is the other side. Um, and then you mentioned the other point. Nevertheless, this is the problem with technology because this paragraph is supporting technology. So this will be opposite to it. Now you would say this can be understood when considering and now you add more description to your point. Again, you can see the phrasing is very professional, formal, different, unique, good words like considering is being used. And now we've again tried to put a fancy um, uh, punctuation mark semicolon, which is used to break the sentence into two parts. It is going to be broken into the second part because now you're going to say therefore and conclude it. See, we didn't say, uh, we didn't put a semicolon here. We just said hence and a new sentence, but here we're putting a semicolon. We're showing the examiner we can use a range of punctuation, range of expressions to explain our point. And that is going to give you tons and tons of marks. So that is your body one and body two right there. Body one supporting your opinion, body two against it. Body three, we'll jump into the explanation. It's a little more detailed. So let's make another part for it uh, in part two.